Inside this video, I'd like to share with you my latest productivity tip. Keep watching for a really cool tip coming up. Hi there, welcome to another video. My name is Gideon Shalwick, of course. And if you've been watching some of my videos, you know that I'm really interested in productivity improvements in my business and that I love sharing it with you, my viewer. Well, I've just stumbled upon something that I've kind of known about for a while, but um, I think I've stumbled upon something that is a really good implementation of it. And that is the little bamboo stylus. Now, why is this an important thing to mention here? Well, first of all, I've had a problem with my iPad for quite some time now. Really cool little device, but it's not so good for drawing with your fingers you know, and making notes, it's really difficult. And I really wanted to have something that I could draw on properly uh, without using my fingers and get some sort of accuracy there. So along comes the bamboo stylus and it just blows everything else out of the water that I've seen, so including my fingers. <laughs> um, so it is really an amazing little stylus uh, that allows you to draw on your screen. And I'll be illustrating for you in a minute how this works and why this is so cool. But first, uh, some pros and cons of this little stylus. The pros obviously is that it's much better to use this for drawing uh, on your iPad. You can get a lot more accuracy and um, draw much more beautifully and even use it as a, like a writing tool and a note-taking note device which is very important. Um, it's nice and small, compact, it's really well designed. Uh, when you look at the design of this, it is well designed um, from an industrial point of view. Um, and it just looks the part, it's got a nice weight to it and it works well, it works really, really well as you'll see in a second. Now it does have some cons that comes with it that I'm not too happy with and a lot of other people have complained about this as well. The first one is the tip, apparently that wears out quite quickly um, but there is a solution to that which I'll share with you in a second as well. Um, so it's not too much of an issue but the bigger issue that I have is that there's no real way for me to really attach it to my iPad. So if I'm traveling, um, you know, that becomes a bit of a problem because I, you know, want to carry the pen with me and there's no way, nowhere to really store this pen and I can't really keep it in my bag. Well, I can, but I'm scared that the tip might get damaged. So um, two things, no way to really store it with my iPad and also it doesn't come with a cover for the tip to protect the tip. So if they can fix that, I think this would be just a, uh, you know, an even better product, but I, I already totally love it and as you'll see the, the sort of stuff you can create with this is just amazing. So um, let me show you on the screen here what I've been doing. So I've already covered for example, uh, you know, this topic here, the problem, I've covered that now and I can cross that off my, with my little stylus. We've talked about the solution and the pros and the cons. Now I want to share with you some of the applications, what you can do with this. So first of all, uh, in terms of applications, there's the doodling. Obviously, if you like drawing things, this is just a fantastic little tool. I've seen some amazing drawings from people where they've you know, done some really artistic things um, using uh, all sorts of different applications. Uh, the one that this one sort of is used with is the Bamboo um, Paper app. But I think there's another paper app around there as well that um, allows you some more tools and is a bit more creative. But this is, this is great for what I'm using it for. The next thing that, that I'm using it mostly for is for the mobile whiteboarding. You know, so this is uh, basically carrying a, a whiteboard, a mob mobile whiteboard in my laptop bag. So it means I can use this in coffee shops, in meetings. Basically, wherever I go, I now have uh, kind of like a, a mini whiteboard that I can carry with me um, and, you know, do brainstorms, do, do doodling, you know, make notes, uh, do mind maps, whatever it is I want to do. And I found that this is an amazing way to help focus my mind. It's a mind focuser, if there is a, a word or phrase like that. It really helps me to just get down and it's just something about having a pen in your hand and, and making that connection on, on the iPad in this case uh, to help you focus your mind, to help you brainstorm and come up with really, really cool ideas. So um, amazing for applications. I mean, there's a ton more. They, these are just sort of the things that I've been using it for. Uh, and also note-taking, that's probably one you can put down on there. I've, I've taken some great notes using this. Um, and, uh, you know, with the sort of tools you get with it, you can, you can do, well, anything you can do on a piece of paper and a whiteboard and, and more. Now, let me illustrate a little bit to you. So I'm going to open up a new page here, just so that you can see the, the sort of uh, effectiveness of this. So 
Uh, for example, I can have the pen tool here and I can select sort of any thickness. I want to just go a nice thick one here. And as you can see, it's very responsive and you can get a lot of accuracy here. So, for example, if I want to draw a circle, I can, you know, get right to the other edge without any uh, problems. Um, it's very cool um, in, in that sort of way. Um, you can, for example, if you want to annotate something, if you want to write, you can zoom in um, and, and then it's basically easier to write because you're zoomed in. You can choose different pin, uh, um, points, sizes, uh, which makes it, you know, gives you a little bit more flexibility with, with what it looks like. There's a nice rubber which allows you to rub things out really easily, an eraser, depending on where you're from, what you might call that. Um, the other thing that I really like about it is, for example, with this application is the, um, this little uh, highlighter tool, which allows you to, to highlight specific things. Um, and it's just so quick and easy and it, it just works fantastic. Um, with this particular application, you can also add images. So say, for example, you, you know, you're doing a review for a site. Uh, I've just made a copy here of my own site. You can, you can paste an image in there and then basically draw pictures over, um, over the, the image. You know, so you're doing reviews and um, you can write and annotate on it uh, uh, while you're showing the screen on, on your computer. So you can do a ton of stuff with this. Uh, very useful for, um, obviously, just for your personal use, but if you're, if you're teaching like me online and with, with video, it's just an amazing tool. And in fact, inside uh, one of the next videos, um, which is the next thing on my illustration, if I can mark these things off, is, let me get the right pins. So that one's done. So um, actually, before I tell you what the next video is, uh, you probably wanna know where to get this pin. Um, below this video, there will be a link or a number of links, uh, which will be affiliate links uh, to Amazon where you can get yourself one of these. Um, and I recommend, this is the solution to the tips now, that you get uh, some extra tips uh, that comes with this pen. Uh, they're about, I don't know, $5 for a packet of three. And that should last you for, for quite some time. So that solves the tip problem. The pens are only about $30, so it's really not a big deal. Um, great, great, great solution. So next video, uh, if you're, you know, the sort of person who want to show your iPad screen on your, on your computer screen and, and use this more as a, uh, you know, like a, a, a drawing device, like a, a bamboo Wacom tablet drawing device, um, you can now use your iPad like that. But there's a special few tricks that you need to be able to do that. And that's what I'll cover inside the next video or one of the next videos coming up. Tell me what you think about this. Uh, if you liked it, uh, you know, please leave a comment and you know, subscribe to my channel. I have lots of cool videos. Please subscribe and you'll be automatically updated for whenever I have uh, another video that comes up. So if you liked it also, please go ahead and, and get, one of, uh, get one for yourself. Uh, only 30 bucks, and I think it's a steal uh, for what you can do with this and the sort of applications you can use this for. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you inside my next video. Bye-bye.